A life jacket can save lives. For this reason, every boat should carry an adequate number of life jackets for the entire crew. But what makes a good life jacket? And which life jacket is best for me? All this and much more is explained in this video. The buoyancy strength of a life jacket is calculated in Newtons. There are four classes, 50, 100, 150 and 275 Newtons. Life jackets with a buoyancy strength of 50N are known as buoyancy aids. Buoyancy aids have no collar and do not have sufficient buoyancy strength to keep the wearer or his head above the water on its own. They simply provide support. These buoyancy aids should only be used by strong swimmers, close to the shore or coast, or when quick help and rescue is required, such as a regatta jacket for dinghy sailors, water skiing, canoeing or kayaking. Life jackets with 100N buoyancy have a collar and are ideal for use by adults of average size and average weight in inshore areas. 100N life jackets are usually foam jackets. They do not have to be inflated in an emergency and are ready for immediate use. Life jackets made of foam are therefore particularly suitable for use when they do not need to be worn permanently on board, but only as the situation requires. These life jackets are not suitable when sailing in difficult conditions. Life jackets with 150N buoyancy are inflatable life jackets. They are great for coastal areas and are very popular with motor boaters. In an emergency, inflatable life jackets are filled with CO2 either manually or automatically when they come into contact with water. Thanks to the comfort of movement and their light weight, automatic or semi-automatic life jackets are the best solution for long time wearing without heavy clothing. Automatic life jackets with 275N buoyancy are the right choice for the high seas and extreme weather conditions. Especially if you wear offshore clothing or heavy protective gear, a 275N class life jacket should be chosen to compensate for the volume of air trapped in the clothing in an emergency. Life jackets in this class are also usually worn permanently on board and must therefore offer the greatest possible freedom of movement. Inflatable life jackets are inflated either manually or automatically. An automatic life jacket has a trigger which shoots a bolt into the cartridge and lets the CO2 escape in case of water contact or water pressure. Alternatively, most automatic jackets can also be triggered manually. Unlike automatic life jackets, manual life jackets do not have an automatic trigger. These life jackets are inflated by manually pulling the ripcord which allows the CO2 to escape from the cartridge. Life jackets also differ in their features. Some life jackets have a metal snap buckle while others have an easy to use click fastener. Some also feature an inspection window through which it is possible to quickly see if the trigger mechanism is ready for operation. Jackets with an integrated neck fleece are more comfortable to wear than jackets without. And if there is a D-ring for hooking a lifeline, this can either be made of fabric or robust steel. There is also a difference in the number of crotch belts a jacket has. And the back of the jacket either features a simple belt or a closed textile back part. But usually all life jackets have a valve to adjust the air pressure of the buoyancy chamber and a signal whistle to draw attention to yourself in an emergency. Reflective strips increase visibility. Most automatic life jackets can be fitted with emergency lights to increase the chance of a quick rescue in poor visibility. Some lights are stuck directly onto the air chamber and illuminate the whole jacket. Other manufacturers use external lights. A lifeline connects your own life jacket 
to an attachment point on board. If a person falls overboard, he is safely anchored to the boat by the safety line and can easily be brought back on board. Lifelines are available as a solid strap or flexible stretch line. There is also the possibility to integrate a distress beacon into the life jacket. This combination ensures an even faster rescue from the water. A spray cap works in a similar way to a hood. In an emergency, it can be pulled over the head and the wearer is thus protected from waves and splashing water. The life expectancy of an automatic jacket is 10 years. During this period, the life jacket should be serviced every two years. Regular life jacket maintenance ensures that it is ready for use in an emergency and functions as intended. In order to find a life jacket with the suitable buoyancy strength, the body weight of the wearer plays virtually no role. This is because a life jacket should primarily keep the wearer's head above water to keep the airways free. And since each person's head weighs roughly the same, the circumstances of use and the clothing worn under are decisive when choosing the right life jacket. For sailing near the coast, we recommend life jackets with 150N. Offshore sailors with heavy clothes should wear a life jacket with a buoyancy rating of 275N. For water sports with increased contact with water, a manual life jacket or a buoyancy aid with 50N is recommended.